Hi everyone, Coach Steve here with a short video on how you can adjust your settings to allow Training Peaks to notify you if you had a change in your threshold pace or heart rates, um, and or if you wanted to automatically update that. And we'll talk about the pros and cons of that at the end of the video. Um, okay, so how we do that is you go to the top round right, right hand corner and click on your name. Um, that will give you a drop down menu. You click on settings. I'll bring you to this uh, moment here and then you click on zones and then you can see your heart rates uh, for our power zones etc from what you've set up you scroll to the bottom and you hear notifications okay so I have these unchecked at the moment but if I check this here and um, training peaks will automatically send me an email saying you've uh, congratulations you've had a threshold change this will be if Training Peaks detects that uh, my either my threshold pace or my threshold heart rate is bet is higher than what I have it set in my run or my um, my bike zones, um, and then you have the, also the option of automatically apply the new threshold changes to your zone. So it will send you the notification if you have this selected, and then also it will update your um, zones automatically. For me, I'm not a fan of using either of these. One, because you just get enough uh, emails from them. And two, I don't like having any threshold changes applied to my my settings or my athlete settings unless they're done as a part of a, um, a field test, a run test, an FTP test. Because sometimes this can pick up a threshold change if there's a, a glitch in the data or if you set, um, I've automatically uploaded a bike as, as a run session, it will sort of update your zones and it will mess everything up. So I prefer to deselect these, that's my preference, um, and just update my threshold changes and zones after a set um, t a run test or bike test that I know is going to give me the same sort of data and have the same uh, simulation to compare apples with apples. So my any threshold changes are based on the exact same test I've done, whatever, three, at the start of base or the start of uh, uh, build. So that's my kind of two cents on it, but it, you have the option of selecting them. When you do have it, by the way, click and you want you either selected or deselected, click save and close. Now, I'm gonna also give you links to the video here and here as to how you actually update your run zones and your bike zones if you want to drill into those videos and check out after you've done your run and your bike tests. Okay, hope that's very useful folks and any questions or queries just drop us a note at info at smartendurancesolutions.com. Have a great day.